Now, there were some parallels between Michael's life and your mom, Judy Garland's life, in a certain way. Mm. Um, do you see the parallels at all? I see the parallels in the fact that they were both children and that they became commodities mm -hmm. as children. And they didn't have a normal childhood. But it was their normal. They didn't know anything but that. Yeah. And so, but I think that now we know that it is so dangerous to have a child be responsible for everyone else's paycheck. Well, that is a and problem. It's, 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 it becomes a problem for the child. Mm -hmm. It becomes a problem for everyone else. But you ha I, I also think that the time difference between when my mom was making films and making one movie after another, by the time, Joy, my mom was 37 years old, she had made 39 movies. Mm -hmm. So she never stopped working. So the parallels in that sense, mm -hmm. I do understand. I do understand that these children become legends, and then the pressure, the obligation, the responsibility, and that no one's there to really sit them down and say, hey, here's how it's going to go. Yeah. Here's what's going to happen. That they have to find that out. And when adults are counting on them for their rent yeah. and their well-being, I just think it is overwhelming, and I think there's always going to be some kind of a problem. So your, your mom, when she was a little girl, even, I mean, even before The Wizard of Oz, she was working. Yeah, my mom went onto a stage, toddled onto a stage. She was two and a half. Yeah. And so she little then... Little baby gum. Baby gum. Yeah. Yeah. Baby. And then when she became Judy Garland, and by the time she was 17 and she had made The Wizard of Oz, she was responsible for so many people's livelihood, including yeah. a studio. And, and your mother... I mean, I mean, her mother, not your and mother. And her, her mother, mother yeah. and her sisters, and she, she, was, she was the breadwinner. She was the breadwinner.